Thank you so much, Salma Saling, for that report. Now moving on to other stories is that in a startling revelation, government spokesperson Isaac Moura announced that the country has incurred a st staggering loss of 6 billion Kenya shillings in just one month due to the ongoing Gen Z protest. The nationwide demonstration primarily driven by young people, have disrupted economic activities and strained public resources, leading to significant financial setbacks. Speaking to the media in Nairobi, Maura said several businesses were also looted and property destroyed by goons who infiltrated the peaceful protest to cause chaos. Aban Shihemi with more report. <laughs> In recent weeks, the country has witnessed an unprecedented period of Gen Z protests which have placed the country at the edge of new political transformation. Addressing the press on Thursday, government spokesperson Dr. Isaac Maura reaffirmed the government's commitment to dialogue process, urging parents to take the lead in this role. On behalf of the government, I therefore make a call to all of us to embrace patriotism and nationhood, and stay engaged with one another without violence and demonstration, and be focused and committed to building a peaceful progress in Kenya. Let us reject self-seekers whose aim is to gain from the foreign donors and sponsors who do not wish well for our country, and we get back to our daily livelihoods and build our nation with love, peace, and harmony with an eye on cohesiveness and unity uh, in our society. The protests which began as a response to the escalating economic inequalities and lack of job opportunities for the youths have gained momentum over the past few weeks. <laughs> Young protesters, many of whom are facing unemployment, have taken to the streets in major cities, demanding systematic changes. As a government, we therefore make a passionate appeal to our children and our youth to reconsider their plans to uphold the, uh, to, to hold the demonstrations since uh, what, that which uh, they were clamoring for has been acceded to, and that these demonstrations have been infiltrated by goons whose aim is to destabilize the country's peace and prosperity. Local businesses have reported significant declines in revenue, particularly in areas heavily affected by protests. <laughs> Maura said the country continues to lose billions of shillings as the protests cause disruption in businesses' activities, damage to infrastructure, and increased costs of maintaining public order. On the other hand, we cannot forget the business people who have suffered huge losses as their businesses remained closed during the demonstrations losing billions of shillings. We wish to empathize with them as they strive to recoup their lost incomes. Overall, the country has lost approximately six billion shillings, according to KRA, as a result of the demonstrations and fears abound that if the protests uh, continue, the economy will have a negative impact in this new financial year as well. And you know we have a huge tax hole as a result of the uh, non-passing or the rejection of the finance bill of 346 billion. The Gen Z's took to the street to protest against the opulence displayed by government officials and seek for the withdrawal of the finance bill 2024 and good governance. The president, as both the head of state and head of government, has taken a number of steps in response to your concerns regarding governance of our country, which include, but not limited to, the rejection of the finance bill where your voices were heard and the controversial bill was dropped, reflecting the power of collecting advocacy. The reduction of the expenses of the office of the First Lady and spouse to the Deputy President, and this action portrays the government's commitment to streamline and ensure transparency in its operations and responding to your calls for fiscal discipline and responsibility. They are now calling on President William Ruto to resign from office, arguing that the old political class is responsible for the country's economic status. <laughs> Reporting for the Muslim Insight, I am Aban Shihemi.